What's up guys? People normally ask me for advice on a lot of things. Thing is, I don't really know how to help them. But today, I wanted to go to my favorite specialist who's not actually a doctor, Dr. Full. You're ugly, you're disgusting, I'm gonna kill you. Give me two more hours. To get some life advice. I think if I can be like him, I can help my friends out. All right, welcome to Leo Live. So Dr. Full is kind of a boomer and doesn't really get a lot of the concepts. I thought I could probably be the person to give the new gen advice. But the thing is, I need to take down notes. So I need a paper and a pen. Paper! Paper! Pen? Pen! Mm. <laughs> and I am just in a great mood. Long gone are the days when children lay on their bedroom floors innocently playing games that look like this. Now, 97% of teens are playing video games that look like this. Games where murdering men, women, and police officers is the whole objective. Well, okay. This is just the problem with boomer advice. Dr. Full doesn't know what he's talking about. Like a lot of other people think that one thing is connected to the other, and it's not. So I guess the first thing I'm going to write down is lying. Now many experts debate whether these games are making our children more aggressive and in some instances more violent. Take a look. Yeah, no, he's wrong about that. But listen, uh, making assumptions is part of Dr. Full's thing. He's a psychologist. He psychologizes. So here's a clip about a 20 year old who quit his job to be a full time YouTube prankster. And Dr. Full just doesn't seem to get it. I've always wanted to be on YouTube ever since I was like nine because it's something I've had a passion and an interest for. About four months ago, I quit my job and I went for what my dream is. Yo, thank you guys for watching. Um, it says video. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this video is going to be called and Video? His, his name is Your Name. <laughs> Gosh. Very creative. Well, if you post a, a video to Uvid, I think that's why you're not going to become a full-time. I, I don't know any sites that start with Uvid unless it has three X's at the end of it. <laughs> The kind of pranks I do is, I've watched pornographic videos in public libraries. Maybe Dr. Fly has a point. <laughs> Addiction is something. I went around pretending to be a blind man with a blind cane. Okay, well the cane is not blind. I feel like pranks maybe not the best thing on YouTube, but listen, if your heart is in it, then your heart is in it, as Joey Salad said. In one of my pranks, I got kicked out of an Uber. Will we be able to pick those up tonight so you can shove one of the strawberries in my I definitely thought it was funny. My mom My mom thinks I'm going to make stupid videos. Hey, can you shove the strawberry in my ass cheeks, bro? I know one day I'll end up being a big YouTube star. <laughs> You're gonna end up being a star one way or another. <laughs> Let me just say that, bro. God damn, it's hard to defend you. TJ needs to get real about his financial future because right now, YouTubing isn't exactly paying the bills. I feel like this is what happens on Dr. Full. He says two things and they re-show me the same thing. Okay, I guess just rehash content. And also, he reminds me of that green m and I can't get it out of my face. And I would like for Dr. Phil to help bring him back to reality. So the parents want to smack up their kid, which is basically what Dr. Phil is most of the time. The parents are like, I don't get it. He wants to be a star. He's an idiot. And then they send him to Dr. Full, who just says it in a southern accent, which apparently makes things, you know, more valid. That's basically what's happening here. Not that I agree with TJ, but he's 20 years old. Like, he's got time, but apparently to his parents, he doesn't. Your hope is that they'll go viral, right? You can say outrageous. Some of the stuff I've done has definitely been outrageous in a way. The cane and the glasses and running into the counter and stuff. I, I find that very offensive to the visually impaired. <laughs> you know, every time they look at that video. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> and I think most people would. Um, the good news is nobody's watching them, so... <laughs> yeah, uh, not many people are watching them. Dr. Full, you didn't have to say that. That's like, you know, someone making bad music. He's like, you offend deaf people. Thank God they're not listening. <laughs> I got up the next morning to go to work, and his car was in the driveway, which it shouldn't have been, yeah. and uh, was just shocked. They're talking about it like he committed some sort of crime. <laughs> He's on YouTube. I don't know many 20 year olds who wouldn't at least try. I'm not saying that, you know, it's the career path for everyone, but it's free to try, right? And then he'll be like, oh man, maybe it sucks and not actually go through with it. Seems like a weird thing that the parents are overreacting, but that is Dr. Full, overreacting. 
So the next video is called Lazy Grandson Says Grandmother Expects Too Much. We're back onto the same thing where parents are not understanding kids and Dr. Full being the alpha boomer is uh, the person dishing out advice. I'm 22 years old. I shouldn't have life figured out. I agree that my hygiene could be a little better. I'll still apply deodorant because I don't want to smell. I Basically, he's a normal 22 year old. I don't, this is all normal. He doesn't shower for three days. I'm a guy. I haven't showered since, what day is it? Tuesday? Friday? Friday. Yeah, three, four months now. It's been a while. Wait, what? I do have a girlfriend. A lot of the reasons we haven't met is scheduling. <laughs> oh man, you gotta work out a schedule, bro. <laughs> I ha Why didn't you meet your girlfriend? Scheduling. Sorry, bro. I don't think you're gonna see her. You're living with your grandmother. Correct. And you're 22. Why are you living with your grandmother instead of on your own? Because the house prices are ridiculous and anybody above the age of 18 will tell you it's not back in your day, Dr. Full, when you could buy a house for a penny. Like, uh, I don't know, two cents of your mind. It's Having a house these days is like you have to work extra hard. So being 22 and not having a house is pretty normal, man. Why are you not a contributing member of society? And I've been trying to work in the meantime. You turned adult four years ago. What are you doing living with your parents and grandparents why do you live with your parents get out it's like these parents have kids so that they could kick them out of the house like it's a joyful thing to do i don't know maybe it's just a brown thing or like i don't know if you could agree with me most parents are like yeah please stay as long as you they don't want to kick people out most, yeah. i don't get it dr full is like as soon as i turned three i told my parents f off and i just left despite what she likes to say when I am at home. No, you're not at home. You're living with your grandmother. You don't That's have what a I'm home. Saying. <laughs> no, you're not. You don't have a home, you homeless. You bum. <laughs> okay, he just came on the show to get help. I'm giving him help. You ain't doing shit. <laughs> at her house, I am gaming maybe three, four hours and then coming out doing what she wants and then going back in. Coming out doing what she wants and then going back in. Why would you say this like that, man? Every time. I'm trying to defend you here. <sighs> People say sus things on Dr. Vaughn. Why? I'm at okay, least. Okay, that sounds like a confession, not an explanation. Oh, it's a confession, Dr. Vaughn. And I don't want to. I don't want to get to the bottom of this. I gotta be honest with you. This is a, a whole different episode. You're gonna need family therapy after this one. You say he won't help in the garden. You say botany's not your thing. Hell, a goat well, can mow a yard. Hell, a fly can fly a plane. Hell, a fisherman can fly a boat. Hell, a submarine can go on air. It's a weird Dr. Philism. Oh, you have an excuse for everything. No, I am not making excuses. Yes, you are. Make assumptions, <laughs> Dr. Full. Also, be hostile. Don't you love it when Dr. Full just, he, he gives them the TLC, tough love and care, and also the M with the mustache. That's the secret ingredient to his success. If Dr. Full didn't have a mustache, can you imagine him without a mustache? <laughs> Scariest thing I've ever, you can say what you want, but I'm not making well, excuses. Well, okay, here's a list of your excuses. No job. You're a waiting rehire. Damn it. You, you pulled out the PowerPoint. They had that waiting there. They even got a picture of this poor kid. They probably were like, hey, it's Connor. Just stand there. What do you want me? Just stand there. And they, they put it juxtaposed against a 700-inch screen. They got his excuses up for the wall to see. No job, no GED, no hygiene. Damn. Dr. Full, why are you doing like that? You said your boss wanted to rehire you after COVID, so you're waiting for to be rehired. Okay. No driver's license. You're scared. I have a lot of anxiety behind a car. Thanks for watching. Love it. There's no resolution because Dr. Full doesn't resolve things. Usually, every video I've seen of him has people going to the ranch. And I'll tell you what, that ranch is a bad place. So I've got everything I need in terms of Dr. Full and his bad advice. I think I've got it down to a T. The only thing I need now is a show and some people, as well as a suit, to make this thing real. Okay, let's do it. Suit! Thank you. And welcome to Dr. Phil, a show where I fill your time. <laughs> Today's episode is about gaming. Gamer people, noobs, ooh woos. Lots of people that I don't know anything about, but I think 
day, they're making society work. Now here's a statistic about gaming. Wow, crazy. On today's show, we're gonna get everything we need about gamers and also interview somebody whose life is gonna get changed. Don't touch that dial, I'll be here a while. Cause I'm Dr. Phil. His neighbor Cedric says of him, he's aggressive, antisocial, lazy, and an immigrant. Let's bring out Liu Kei from China. Come on, Liu. Nice to meet you. It's uh, Luke from Canada. Okay. So you're a gamer. Yeah, yeah, I'm a gamer. A gamer. gamer. That's right, I'm a gamer. You like playing with men? Uh, I mean, majority of my guild members are, are male, yes. LGTBQBTQ? Uh, no, it's just, it's not like uh, uh, Just keyboard. typing letters on the keyboard, brother GG GG, yep, yep, we use GG It's like a good game it Means penis in Chinese You're not wrong But I mean, I, I don't use it for that Here's some phrases you've said Noob Yep, yep, noob It's, uh, it's generally what we call like rookies when we kill them What's FPS? Free penis sex it, no, no, it's a uh, First person shooter. How about NPC, which is no penis cost? No, it's, well, again, no, it's a non playing character. RPG, RIP, ridiculous penis, and racy internet penis. Yeah. Wee a boo! What is a wee a boo? Uh, it's essentially someone in the Western, cult, the, the Western culture, you know, indulging in. in ooh woo! Ooh woo! I see that all the time. Ooh woo. What's ooh woo? Uh, it's like a cute dude right now. Ooh woo. It's more, it's more like a, you know, ex expression. Is expression. that what the kids are smoking? Ooh woo woo. You gotta tell them. It uh, says here you have an online relationship. Yeah, 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 I do. You think it's okay to have sex with computers? That That's not what's happening. I Some guess. of the things you've done. Kill an innocent prostitute. Ran over your friend twice. Money laundering, stealing. Oh, uh, right. You mean in the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I do all that in in the game and in, in GTA. Sounds like a I, confession to me. It's all one big game to you, isn't it? Exactly. It, it's it's a game. Well, this is not a game. This is real life, buddy. You need to set an example for people. Yeah. Instead of first person shooter, how about first person? Savior. I don't think there is a, a game for that. Be that change. Ooh. Well, but, I mean, but, I, I, ooh. Now let's bring out his neighbor, Cedric. Come on out, Cedric. <laughs> You're a concerned neighbor for Liu K. It's still Liu. Absolutely, yes, very much, sir. He's lazy and he shows rather aggressive tendencies. Correct. In fact, we have some exclusive footage of Liu Kei being aggressive. Let's take a look. He doesn't have a house and he's 22. When I was 22, I was losing my hair. Well, when I was 22, I was working for the Queen in Buckingham Palace. Well, when I was 18, I was sucking the cow's teats and bringing it from one person to another. Like well, when I was 15, I was chimney sweeping. When I was seven, I grew a mustache, and my dad actually said it was so big that he left the house and said, you're the man now, son. Oh, you, okay, you, know. you say he never leaves the house? Whenever I look through the binoculars, he's always there playing that damn video game. He hasn't had a girlfriend in years that I know of, of course. He doesn't shower often. When he does, he doesn't scrub between that buttocks. Worst of all, he doesn't treat Darius the way he should. They've been friends for so long, and it's because he's playing that damn video game. So you're saying he hasn't grown up? Precisely. It's like Peter Pan if he never left Neverland. Yes. Like cars, but he drives away. Yeah, like as if Aladdin had never met Jasmine. Like Genie. If they rubbed him back in the bottom. Like as if Christopher Robin never left the Hundred Acre Wood. Toy Story, if he was all the characters. 
Yes. <laughs> You're not making real money. Yes, real money. Monopoly money. No, dude. You have a company? Yep, company. But you don't even have friends. I mean, I, I run a company by, by myself. It's my company, so. You, you got your own company? Yeah, yeah. For my games. You make money, real money, playing games? Yep, we uh, hit the six figures the other week. Ooh, ooh. Show me. So, um, how much do you make? How much do you make? Do you make? How much do you make? Do you make? How much do you make? Hi, I'm Dr. Phil, and today's gonna be a changing day in your life. Cause I'm about to wreck a fool. I'm gonna kill me a noob today. You die today! Ooh, 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 ooh. Help me! I need a wee I need a wee boo! L G B T P T T Q. Just naming the letters on the keyboard, brother. L G T D B Q T Q. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What? What is? <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 <laughs>